banners are up all around the stadium. This one beside me, of course, has the Georgia Bulldogs logo on it. But if you're an Alabama fan, no worries. Every other light pole has your logo on it. We've also seen a lot of officers walking around the city all day. Atlanta police say local, state and federal agencies have been working on their security plan for a year now. All hands on deck, all days off were canceled as officers will be working 12 hour shifts through Tuesday. There will also be undercover officers and a very pronounced police presence. Aircraft of any kind will be prevented from being over the event, but officers have also stressed that fans should immediately report anything suspicious, call 911 and not worry about whether it's a false alarm. As for traffic, it's always a concern in Atlanta, but with the expected 150,000 fans in the area this weekend and a visit from President Trump, there's going to be even more traffic tie-ups. The Atlanta chief encourages people to use MARTA. But if you are going to drive, you need to be mindful of you have the stadium at capacity, you have thousands of people coming to tailgate, you have a presidential motorcade that's going to cause streets to be shut. It's going to take time. Meanwhile, signs of a national championship game are all over Atlanta. A picture of the trophy and logo attached to the Westin. And crews spent the day covering a building with another national championship sign on the building next door. People here getting very excited for the fan events that begin tomorrow and, of course, for the game on Monday. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4, live in Atlanta.